Olá. Em nome da Porto Editora e dos autores, quero agradecer por estar connosco e pelo interesse em conhecer a nova geração de manuais escolares para os sétimo e décimo anos de escolaridade. Este momento está a ser vivido com enorme entusiasmo por toda a equipa e pelos nossos autores. Finalmente, vamos ter a oportunidade de lhe apresentar projetos educativos que refletem um salto qualitativo extraordinário a todos os níveis. Nunca uma geração de manuais escolares se apresentou tão consistente, tão diversificada, tão adaptada aos desafios que temos pela frente. Tão capaz de melhorar o seu dia-a-dia -dia de trabalho e também ajudar os seus alunos. Foram muitos meses de trabalho intenso e rigoroso, que começou muito antes da pandemia. Fizemos questão de percorrer todo o país para falarmos e debatermos com professores de todas as disciplinas. E quando a pandemia chegou, continuámos nesse diálogo permanente, testando, evoluindo, aperfeiçoando. Ao longo de todo esse caminho, um aspecto se tornou verdadeiramente claro para nós. Todos os dias, o futuro coloca-se perante si, na sala de aula ou à distância. E todos os dias, o futuro vai-se construindo graças ao seu empenho, à sua dedicação, ao seu espírito de missão. Com esta nova geração de manuais escolares, nós vamos estar ao seu lado a abrir horizontes ao futuro. Porque, como bem sabemos, o futuro aprende consigo. Muito obrigado pela sua confiança. Hi there. I don't know how these last few months have affected you, but I've been watching more TV. Have you ever heard of the Property Brothers? It's a Renault show. Jonathan and Drew fix up people's homes, which made me want to renovate my whole house. My husband kept complaining that I was always rearranging the furniture and moving things around. But I was really just sick and tired of seeing the same old things in the same boring old places. Know what I mean? Come to think of it, that's exactly how most of us feel about the course books that we've been using for so long. It definitely is time for something new. Wouldn't you agree? That's why I called Jonathan and Drew to inspire my engaging team to come up with the course book reno for the seventh year. Now, this is going to be an ambitious reno. But you know what they say about Obrecht. It's always worth it in the end. Let's take a closer look at our Renault plan. We are going to start off with the entrance to our house so that we can engage students back to learning English. And we really only have one to two weeks to do this at the beginning of the year. Once we have the entrance that meets our needs, we're going to attack the kitchen and give it a complete makeover so that we can engage our students to learn the English skills that they need. When we are done with the kitchen, we'll head into the living room so that we teachers have time to rest a bit and gather our energy for what's really important. And if we don't use up our contingency plan, Who knows? You may be in for a little surprise, but Jonathan and Drew would kill me if I told you more. So, let the renovating begin. Don't we just look up for the job? Our first step is to engage students to open up their learning gates to English. This means that we need to convince them that English is great and that they need it in their lives. Let's take a closer look at how we are going to do that. The first thing that we have to do is to tear down any chance of students having a falta de material at the beginning of the lesson, so that they can't be tempted to give up before the reno has even begun. Have a look at our Engaging 7 reno project. On the back cover, we have a verb wheel. At the end of the book, we have an engaging dictionary and a really cool, extensive reading story. And to make sure that our Renault project is magazine perfect, we've added a booklet on the back of the back cover. At the back of the booklet, there's a bonus section with the listening scripts of all the audios in the student's book 
just in case technology fails. And the answer key for the open-ended questions and the writing tasks. As you can see, everything the students need is in the student's book. So there is no way they can forget anything at home. Our next Renault task is just as important. We're not going to start the year with a unit zero full of boring revision when our seventh year program repeats most of what the students learnt in the sixth year anyway. Instead, we're going to go for a more engaging option to help students feel that learning English really is going to be more engaging this year. We are going to invite students into our classrooms to experience British and American culture for themselves. Then we'll begin each unit with a fun video and the revision of the main vocabulary and grammar contents that students need for that unit. What a learning entrance, wouldn't you agree? Our next Renault will have our students letting their guard down and learning English without even realizing it. We know that nowadays students are visual and auditory learners. So our Renault plan has come up with the perfect Renault tools to engage students to have fun while learning English. This time, we'll begin with fun vocabulary and grammar games that will have students playing again and again to get to the next level. Let's have a look at a sneak peek. I want to move to a house with a garden. I want to move to a house with a balcony. I want to move to a house near the mountains. I prefer living in the city. Then we'll add lots of engaging videos, songs and karaoke's to find the next Beyonce out there. You're welcome to sing along, if you like. I'm sitting here in the boring room It's just another rainy Sunday afternoon I'm wasting my time, I got nothing to do I'm hanging around, I'm waiting for you But nothing ever happens And I wonder We'll top things off with a fun verb tense game so that we can get our students to master the English tenses they need to know in the seventh year. And the beauty of this Renault project is that we can use these add-ons in a face-to-face -face and virtual classroom. Teaching with Engaging 7 really does make you feel alive, doesn't it just? Ready to look at the before and after of our first Renault project? Wow, pretty amazing, right? Time to move on to Renault project number two. Now this is a great Renault trio. This time we're going to gut the kitchen and build a brand new kitchen in its place to cook up the skills our students need in the seventh year. Our second Renault task is to engage students to like reading. After all, a house needs a good rocky foundation or it might just come tumbling down. In our previous house, many students didn't like to read. So Engaging 7 presents reading with a twist. Step 1 of our reno is to make sure that students see an appealing text on the page. Step 2 is to allow them to read in a way that they can relate to. This is why they are going to start off by watching an animated karaoke reading video that they can read along with. How about we read a text together? Three different Most Valuable Player Awards and two Olympic gold medals. But Kobe was also an undefeated star at changing children's lives. He believed that sports are a tool to helping less fortunate children dream. Once we've got them interested in the text, we're going to invite them to read the text for themselves. This means making sure that students can't get demotivated because they can't understand what they are reading. This is why we've highlighted the 
difficult words in the text and included them in the bilingual dictionary in the back of the book that students can use to look up words they don't know. Of course, we'll give students access to these tools so that they can revisit the text we did in class at home. At this point, we are ready to move on to the next step of our Renault project. We want to design our learning kitchen in such a way as to engage students to speak English. This means following a baby step approach to speaking English. Remember the reading texts? Well, we're going to use them to get students ready to speak. Have a look at the speech recognition tool, which allows our students to practice their pronunciation so that others can't tease them when they speak English. And the best part is that they can record themselves to see how well they are progressing. Let's have a look at a mini demo together. This is why he dedicated himself to improving social missions. This is why he dedicated himself to improving social missions. The next step of our reno is to guide students to speak for themselves. So we are going to begin by teaching them the words and language functions they need to speak in a very safe and controlled environment. And we have added a speaking tutorial video to engage students and make sure that they can get it right. Have a look at a snippet so you can see what I mean. How does it fit? Perfect. How much is it? It's 39 pounds. Here you are. Thank you. Here's a change. Thanks. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Now it's your turn. Role play the dialogue with your partner. But our reno plan is even more ambitious than this. We wanted to make sure that this is our forever home for the next six years. So we have added a little extra that deals with spoken production too. Our units end with a collaborative speaking project so that we can evaluate students' spoken production. Sylvia and Isabel have gone into the classroom and tested this. This is why our workbook is a flip-flop workbook. If you turn it over, you'll find the speakers and writers corner with extra scaffolding for the speaking tasks in the student's book. And wait for it, a finishing touch that will make all the difference. Guided speaking cards that students can personalize and use to create a dream presentation. Time to tackle the writing elephant in our old house. Now this is going to be a Renault project to remember. We have also made sure to build writing tasks that are carefully scaffolded for our students with models and frame texts for them to follow. And writing tutorials that help students see how to become an engaging writer step by step so that no student gets left behind. Let's watch a snippet, shall we? Let's start by writing hi and the person's name. Now, let's write a few sentences about the family gathering. My favourite family gathering is definitely Sunday lunch. My family is really busy during the week, so we don't usually have dinner together. Now, let's give a few details about what usually happens during this gathering. Then, in our Writer's Corner section, we have help with pronunciation and even more scaffolding. This will have our students becoming little Shakespeare's in no time. And that brings us to the end of our second Renault project. Ready to see the before and after? Now, this is a kitchen that our colleagues will envy, right? Look at the massive island. What a perfect place to speak and write away. We're on a tight budget, but we still have the resources we need to implement one last Renault project. 
This time, we'll be attacking the living room, which we all know is the heart of any home. Because without an engaging teacher, everything suddenly becomes so much more difficult. What's the one basic tool that you need to transform a house into a real home? That would be time. If you're always running to complete the planification, it's hard to make a difference in the classroom, isn't it now? That's why the first step of this reno is to make sure that we have the time to complete the planification without the usual stress that drives us crazy. We have built a course book that is doable. Notice how it just has five units with three short subunits. And notice how each unit is divided into two parts. Part one contains the aprendizagem. This means that even if you only teach this part of the unit, you will always have completed the planificação anual and taught the aprendizagem. So, what's part two for? This part is called the English Plus, and it has extra grammar, vocabulary, and reading practice for stronger students or classes or for schools that have more carga lativa. With this amazing Renault, now we can teach English in the way that makes the most sense for us. Time to move on to the next step of our engaging Renault. Implementing a cross-curricular approach to learning so that it becomes more real and meaningful. Our Renault project offers six DAC projects that can easily be applied to your teaching context. Where can you find them? At the end of every unit, of course. We've also prepared an extensive reading short story for you to articulate with Portuguese. By reading the tale they need to understand, Leandro, Ucheida, Illyria, Salty Love, an adaptation of the traditional Portuguese tale, Salt and Water. Glory, glory, it's time for a story. The happiest person in all the land was the king himself. Why, you may ask? Well, the answer is simple. He possessed the three most precious treasures in the whole kingdom. Of course we've made sure that all these ducks have been prepared for you in the teacher's file. So that following the perfil da Lunu is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Our engaging Renault team has gone the extra mile to prepare one last little Renault bonus to help you relax after a long day of meetings, we have a little something that will help you when the going gets tough in the classroom. Time for Renault task number four. To help you save energy for the classroom where it's needed, we have given you a teacher's file with all the extras that you need to enjoy your teaching and learning garden. Everything is in a word format so that you can personalize it, including the ducks we just spoke about, the vocabulary and grammar for Chinas that are a classic in any home, the tests that help you evaluate all your students with a heart. And because we know that you need tests that no centro de estudos can copy, we have created another techie tool called the Test Generator. This tool gives you another three graded tests with different exercise types that you can mix and match to create a new and unique test. As you can see, testing with Engaging 7 is just a few simple clicks away. And finally, the Educação Inclusivo section that makes sure that everyone is engaged and that no child is left behind. 
Now, this is a reno that we'll dip into again and again and again, year after year. Ready to see the before and after? Isn't teaching with engaging seven sweet? As you can see, our reno gives students all the resources that they need to be engaged and have fun learning English. And it also gives us the tools we need to make sure that this is our forever home for the next six years. Basically, Engaging 7 is a reno project that transforms any learning house into a home. Because teaching English makes us feel alive and we deserve to feel that every day. Glory, glory, this is just the beginning of our engaging story. Hi, I'm Anna. Welcome aboard Flight All-Star 7. Destination, success. We've been in lockdown for way too long, haven't we? We haven't been able to travel in over a year. Aren't you ready to get in your car or get on a plane and just go somewhere, anywhere? I'm gonna take you to a happy place. So close your eyes. If you could go anywhere in the world, anywhere, where would you go right now? Are you there? What can you see? What can you hear? What can you touch? What can you smell? What can you taste? Does it feel good? Now, do you remember wearing All Stars as a teenager and just taking them everywhere you went? Well, the truth is we still wear them today, don't we? And so do our teenagers. So put on those All Stars and bring that happy place in your head. We're going on a trip through our course book. But before we embark on the actual trip, there's all that excitement of looking forward to it. You know, that feeling, that anticipation. What are we gonna see? What are we gonna do? What are we going to experience? Just like on a trip, All Stars fosters curiosity in the learning journey by building anticipation. So the intro pages to each unit work as a teaser. It could be a video or a song. We work on the language coming up in the unit in a lighthearted way. And there's always a pop quiz. What do students already know? Or what are they looking forward to discovering along the unit? Can you still see that happy place in your head? Well, before we actually travel, we look at that happy place, don't we? We look online, we look at images of the place, we think of the language we might need and the best way to get there. In our course books, students look at the destination first. They look at models of writing or speaking tasks what they want to achieve, that's their destination. And we provide them with all the necessary stages to get there, just like a road map, to take them to that destination, the outcome of the task. Now, even simple speaking tasks throughout the book have a model and useful language to help students feel more confident and do well. And this is how we use a light task-based approach throughout the course book to guide students in the learning journey. I don't know about you, but when I travel, 
I like to look at beautiful views, but I also like to focus on smaller details, like an interesting building or a beautiful doorway. So that's where binoculars come in handy, so we can focus on important details. And that's what we do in All Stars. We go from the bigger picture and we zoom in. We help students use their binoculars and build on what they already know. For example, family is a recurrent topic, isn't it? Students see it year after year. They know the basic vocabulary. They know mother, father, sister, brother. So we need to zoom in on what they don't know, on what perhaps they need to know, not only to expand their vocabulary, but to be able to see themselves in the book, ensuring inclusive practices. We zoom in on the grammar. After providing students with a real context first, then real functional language needed for an authentic speaking task. We zoom in on real English, the kind of English they'd be likely to hear out in the real world, in the streets. So let's listen to Glenn. What do you have in common? What's your name? Hello, my name's Glenn. Where are you from? I'm originally from New Zealand. Where do you live? I live in Poland. And what time do you wake up? I wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. What's the first thing you do when you get up? Uh, when I get up, the first thing I do is check my mobile phone. I think we all check our phones first thing in the morning, not just adults, but teenagers as well. So this Vox Pop section, for example, we filmed this uh, real video in Belfast with real people from different countries talking about their morning routines. So we have a different take on daily routine, which is also a recurrent topic, isn't it? We have real language in real context and used in authentic tasks and students are reminded along the journey in the tasks of the language they need as we guide them towards learner autonomy. When we're traveling, we communicate with real people, we experience their culture, and we even compare it to our own. All Stars brings the real world into the classroom using authentic material. In this case, through a photography project published in various news outlets by New York photographer Michelle Crow called the Universal Family Project, students see what different families around the world look like. But in the end, when we zoom in, we realize that we're actually more alike than we are different. And it's funny because I actually established a friendship with Michelle when I asked her for permission to use her photographs uh, in our course book. She was so excited that they were going to be used for educational purposes. And we've actually become very good friends. And then we have real stars like Sandy Kilpatrick. He's from Scotland and he's a musician who just happens to live in Portugal. Culture is introduced through a real person and that encourages students to want to discover more. Now we're going to listen to Sandy. He's going to teach us how to say something in Scottish. So listen carefully. Do you have a favorite Scottish word or expression? Oh, it depends. <laughs> Can you teach us a word? <laughs> I. We say I instead of yes. Hmm. The spell is A-Y-E. And in Scotland, people very often say I yeah, instead of yes. So now we know how to say yes in Scottish. I. 
These culture sections can lead to projects and we can make it even more real for our learners by connecting it to our local culture. You will actually see throughout the book many of the tasks can be extended into cross-curricular projects. When we travel, we cross bridges to get from one side to the other. But we also build bridges. We make connections. With All Stars, we build bridges between generations through the way we work on topics in order to bring us closer to our teens. We build connections through the variety of material we have at our fingertips and the choice of topics that are relevant to teenagers. We make connections with our students using videos like Star Girl, which is a film based on a well-known book with a very quirky character that our teenagers might identify with. There are lots of different types of texts in our, in our course book, like book reviews, which not only develop reading skills, but also encourage students to read and perhaps read outside of the classroom because ultimately we want our, our learners to become more autonomous. And speaking of reading, well, we have a special guest that would like to say something to you. So have a listen. Hi everyone, my name is Richard Zimler and I'd like to invite you to read my book, The Dog Who Ate Raindrops, which is part of the All Stars Project. Let me start it off for you. Almost everyone said it wasn't a good thing for a dog to knock down a boy and bite him, even if he deserved it. Maybe they were right. But I couldn't blame Adam. If I were as big and powerful as he is, I might have done something a whole lot worse. But I'm getting way ahead of myself. Our extensive reading is the original version of Richard Zimler's award-winning book, Ukang Kubia Shuva, which can be worked on in conjunction with the subject of Portuguese. Now, the book is all around the topic of bullying, and this can be worked on together with Cidadania. We've got English, Portuguese, Cidadania, so many connections, all these bridges. Now, you know that happy place in your head? Can you still see it? When we travel, we often go to souvenir shops to buy something that will help us remember our trip little trinket like a fridge magnet and then we often look at it to reflect back on the journey and all those experiences don't we well all stars makes the learning journey more visible to students and helps them become more autonomous learners that's why in the workbook we have the guided writing which trains students on how to become better writers, leading to learner autonomy. That feeling of achievements once they've completed the writing, their souvenir. And in the course book, at the end of each unit, we have a learner autonomy section. Now, in this activity, students collect English around them, like in the coffee mugs, or it could be from t-shirts. So that's like going to a souvenir shop, isn't it? They have the word lists that makes the vocabulary from the unit stand out. Souvenirs. Now, self-assessment is an important part of the learning journey. For example, students are given the opportunity to choose their own words to remember and how to remember them. Again, souvenirs. There's also a self-assessment checklist for students to reflect on their progress, which makes the learning journey in the unit much more visible for our students. Now, the ultimate reason we travel is to escape from the daily grind, isn't it? I know I'm ready to escape. 
We're looking for new adventures, new experiences. We want to see a variety of different things, things that will help us grow and learn. With all stars, there are plenty of opportunities to escape. We escape through pictures, don't we? We look at our gallery on our phone, look at holiday snaps, or we look through Instagram. The visual element is very important. Here we're not only describing a picture, but we're connecting it to real life, an authentic task, with the support of useful language, learner autonomy. Now the picture is connected to a song. There's a bridge. And it's not just to practice grammar like present simple and continuous, but we're relating it again to life experience and with a focus on real English. Or we can escape the course book using digital resources. In this case, traveling by going on a virtual tour, making language much more memorable for our students. But we can escape for real with one of the all-stars escape rooms. Through gaming, students work collaboratively using thinking and problem-solving skills in a creative way. Now, this is a bridge to a world that our learners know to how to navigate so well using English as a vehicle. Have you still got your all-stars on? Because every journey needs the right pair of shoes. You need to feel comfortable to walk the journey. And to fully appreciate it, you also need to be able to walk in other people's shoes. Traveling enables us to develop empathy, to see things from other perspectives. And that runs throughout the whole course book. So what's more important? Is it reaching the destination or the journey itself with all the adventures and connections or both? So leave those all stars on and join us on this journey to successful language learning. There are places, adventures, tools and experiences for everyone. And all you need is all stars. O Quiz EV ajuda os professores a dinamizar as suas aulas com quizzes totalmente adaptados aos conteúdos que está a lecionar. Rapidamente, junto do seu manual ou nos recursos da disciplina, encontra uma lista de quizzes sobre os mais diversos temas prontos a jogar. Mas também pode editá-los, selecionando outras questões já disponíveis no banco ou criando um quiz totalmente novo com as suas próprias questões. Para jogar é muito simples. Clique na seta para iniciar e defina o modo. Pode jogar em sala de aula presencial, em sessões síncronas à distância ou mesmo em sessões assíncronas. Pode até jogar sem que os alunos disponham de um dispositivo, com cartões físicos. Se já tiver uma turma criada, basta selecioná-la e automaticamente os alunos recebem um convite para entrar no jogo. Se não tiver uma turma criada, é gerado um código que os alunos inserem no seu dispositivo. Depois é só jogar. Cada questão tem um tempo limite de resposta e a cada passo são apresentados os resultados em tempo real. No final, são apresentados diversos gráficos que lhe permitem acompanhar o desempenho da turma e de cada aluno, identificando os tópicos que já estão adquiridos e os que necessitam de maior atenção. Com o Quiz EV, avaliar torna-se simples, envolvente e muito eficaz.
Avaliar e dar feedback é uma das principais funções do professor. Mas criar materiais ajustados a cada turma ou a cada aluno é difícil e ocupa muito do seu tempo. Para o apoiar nesta tarefa, disponibilizamos vários testes perfeitamente ajustados ao seu manual. Mas mais do que isso, totalmente editáveis em apenas alguns cliques. Para cada questão foram pensadas alternativas, com tipologias e níveis de dificuldade diferentes, para poder facilmente substituir por uma outra questão, documento ou todo um grupo, criando rapidamente várias versões do mesmo teste. Pode também editar todas as questões disponíveis ou criar e acrescentar as suas. Para cada teste foi pensada a devida cotação, que poderá também ser personalizada por si. No final, pode descarregar a versão de impressão, que inclui as respectivas soluções e grelha de correção, partilhar com outros professores ou atribuir o teste interativo como tarefa na escola virtual. Neste caso, os resultados são automáticos nas questões de resposta fechada e as questões de resposta aberta serão facilmente validadas pelo professor com o apoio dos critérios de correção ou de uma resposta exemplo. Poderá também exportar um relatório com todos os resultados e vários gráficos que o ajudam a monitorizar o desempenho das suas turmas e de cada um dos seus alunos. Com o um gerador de testes, a avaliação torna-se rápida, personalizada e eficaz. E se pela primeira vez os seus alunos não quisessem sair da sala de aula? Com o um Escape Room, eles vão mergulhar na sua disciplina como nunca imaginou. Os seus alunos serão virtualmente fechados numa sala e dispõem de um limite de tempo para encontrar a chave e sair. Então e agora? O que têm de fazer? Por onde devem começar? Num contexto de projeção em sala de aula, em equipa ou individualmente, têm de resolver um desafio de lógica e descobrir a palavra escondida? Encontrar o elemento que revela o texto secreto? Ordenar as peças do puzzle? Sim, é isso mesmo! Para obterem a chave, têm de resolver inúmeros desafios, recolher objetos e decifrar enigmas. Os seus alunos encontrarão ambientes imersivos e visualmente apelativos. Diversos enigmas lúdico-educativos que mobilizam os seus conhecimentos e testam o raciocínio lógico. Compartimentos secretos que põem à prova a perspicácia, música que proporciona um envolvimento com a narrativa do jogo, Limite de tempo que melhora a capacidade de planeamento e de gestão de tarefas. Esta é uma nova estratégia de ensino que irá entusiasmar os alunos de tal forma que nem vão dar pelo tempo passar. Aventure-se com eles a descobrir a chave do conhecimento. Ainda se lembra de como aprendeu a conjugação de verbos? É certamente algo que lhe é muito natural. Mas os seus alunos, particularmente na aprendizagem de uma nova língua, vão precisar de alguma ajuda com este tema. Para o efeito, desenvolvemos o Conjugador Verbal Interativo. Uma ferramenta que reúne e coloca à sua disposição e dos seus alunos a conjugação dos verbos mais utilizados em cada língua. Português Inglês Francês e espanhol, nos modos e tempos adequados ao respectivo nível de ensino. No separador Conjugar, é possível pesquisar e consultar a conjugação dos verbos. Pode ver-se a conjugação completa ou filtrar por modo, tempo ou pessoa. O modo Jogar possibilita a consolidação destes conteúdos, com desafios de 10 questões cronometradas e organizadas em 3 níveis de dificuldade. Tudo numa ferramenta simples, intuitiva e de fácil acesso.
para melhor aprender uma nova língua, conseguir comunicar com fluidez é essencial. Mas muitas vezes o tempo para a prática da expressão oral em sala de aula é escasso. Para ajudar a vencer esse desafio, surge a nossa nova tecnologia de reconhecimento de voz, conjugada com atividades especialmente concebidas para os seus alunos. As várias atividades disponíveis possibilitam a audição de áudios originais gravados por falantes nativos, écoute et répète, préféré, a gravação da resposta pelo aluno, the girl's t-shirt is yellow, e a transcrição e validação dos resultados em tempo real, com indicação das respostas corretas e incorretas, e também com sugestão de correção. Pode ainda combinar estas atividades com vídeos, áudios ou imagens numa sequência de aprendizagem personalizada. Os resultados podem ser imediatamente partilhados consigo, permitindo-lhe monitorizar a todo momento a aquisição de competências comunicativas pelos seus alunos. Do you want your students to write like a pro? With our writing tutorials, they'll become star writers and the and then and then days will be totally over. So, have your students write flawless emails, catchy articles, mind-blowing blog posts or essays that inspire. With these writing tutorials, they will learn how to plan, write and revise their texts step by step. As well as to improve their spelling, punctuation, word choice, and sentence structure in their writing. In the classroom, at home, or while waiting for the bus, your students can watch these tutorials wherever they are and write whenever inspiration hits. Exposição, contexto, variedade, imersão são fatores fundamentais na aprendizagem de uma língua estrangeira. Traga os seus alunos para um ambiente multidimensional de estudo com os nossos manuais interativos. Os seus manuais, conforme os conhece, enriquecidos por uma cuidada seleção de recursos digitais. Centenas de vídeos sobre os mais diversos temas, leituras acompanhadas e animações dos textos dos manuais que facilitam a sua compreensão. Olá, eu vivo com minha mãe em um piso situado no centro da cidade. Karaokes de canções que convidam a um aprofundamento do vocabulário. Atividades e jogos divertidos para a consolidação de conhecimentos. Todos os exercícios do manual em formato interativo e com resultados imediatos. Que permitem praticar ou rever a matéria a qualquer momento. Acessível online ou offline, a partir de qualquer smartphone, tablet ou computador. <SILENCIO>